नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ and indeed without that we can't achieve anything what is that prior to coming up to that i ask you all please raise your hands like this can you yeah everyone is doing it great if i say raise the another hand you will raise it i'll ask how could you raise your hand and you will say it's my hand it's me if i tell myself raise this finger i can raise it because it's my finger it's my hand i can do it and then if i say then control your mind it's your mind control your thoughts let the thoughts be restricting itself into a periphery don't let go beyond it restrict it manage it manage your mind it's your mind and then you will see that it's not easy to manage my mind that way my thoughts that way if i can't manage my hand then i'll say it's ailment problem it's paralyzed if i can't manage my mind i feel like it's normal mind couldn't be managed dear friends this is the point where we have to come upon the discipline of mind how to manage my mind how to control myself why to manage my mind so that i get a self induced discipline so we are talking about that aspect today the self induced discipline managing my thoughts mind and action so that i become a controlled personality then you will ask a question that appears in my mind it will be in your mind also why should i be controlling my thoughts why should i be getting that thrashing discipline on me actually discipline can't be imposed on anyone you can't impose discipline is simply it is self induced if it comes from within but why should i be disciplined you know friends i feel negative at times because everything is not in my control i postpone the things i feel lazy i get into procrastination because i can't manage myself those who can manage themselves those who are disciplined they are the successful person get into the history of any of the successful persons in this universe you will get they are the disciplined persons because they can manage themselves this is where the essentiality of necessity of discipline comes you will see in class 5th 6th 7th 8th get a sample of hundreds of students and you will get those students who can manage themselves who can manage their time who can manage their thoughts are the performers and less performing students are those who can't manage themselves that's the difference and this is the point where we have to understand ultimately you can't achieve anything anywhere anyhow if you are not disciplined and this is where we come up to this point self induced discipline if you don't want to have that slit of soil above that pressure that is the discipline above you will just get rotten off and rotten off is written off but when we accept that Two inch slit of soil above that gives warmth, rigor, discipline is that thing that makes you germinate to touch your eternity. Everything is disciplined, you know. Sun is disciplined, moon is disciplined, earth is disciplined, whole universe is disciplined, and due to that discipline, self-induced discipline, that the universe is sustaining. without that universe can't sustain at all can you imagine even a day sun says that i just don't want to rise everything collapsed finished actually what discipline is friend i said the discipline is dharma dharma which it is said dharma is which sustains everything water has a dharma shitalata coolness it flows fire has a dharma that is warmth 
fire leaves its dharma gets indisciplined everything is over it's no more a fire at all water has a dharma of being sheetal cool you heat it up and then it again regains that dharma of getting sheetal cool this is what water is this is what fire is this is what air is this is what sky is we people also have a dharma do we sustain that dharma dharma of human beings if we sustain that dharma we are disciplined and we leave the way of dharma the path of dharma we get indisciplined and as i said if someone loses its dharma gets dharma chut dropped from dharma a bolisis what to talk about achieving in it simply abolished friends i bring you towards an epical logic just try to understand me four elements that has always been taught mind that is man buddhi ahankar or chit these four elements man buddhi ahankar chit man which says what's right what's wrong buddhi takes decisions ultimately ahankar me i what is sustain my value system my sanskar goes into chit chit sustains sanskar ahankar i man and buddhi but what is decided what i get man says go for that buddhi says yes or no how does it take decision it takes decision according to the sanskar my sanskar if i am habitual to do good things because it has been inherited into my value system i know it's good i have to go this way only i can't do wrong things i can't become illogical i can't become corrupt i can't become smoker i can't become a drinker i can't become anything that is unethical why because i am practiced to do it unless until i give a practice to it i can't have it and this practice comes only when i accept it it's through my sanskar this is what has been said earlier a child comes into this world and from very first day even when the child appears in the warm of mother from that moment give sanskar sanskar to his man buddhi chit so that slowly slowly it gains and understands how to take decision what decision from a step to a step we give the practice to a child to think in a specific way which is good for him or her if we practice it slowly and slowly my mind and mera man my man and a buddhi it works according to me i say go way x because way way, way x is good for me it's ethical way don't go through way y that is unethical that is not good that is not in favor of society or nation but it goes through practice regular practicing giving sanskar to man and buddhi so that it always thinks in terms of positive don't think this way think that way because that way is the ethical way is the better way is the positive way in favor of society nation family humanity think this way and when the vikar appears that is absurd thoughts appears which says let's enjoy other way even and then i put a tap on the head of that vikar i say come down it's not the way because i have been practicing it the sanskar and abhyas what krishna says abhyas ene tu kon te that practice go this way this is the better way and after a long spell of abhyas that man and buddhi starts thinking in one specific way that's the pure way that's the good way the positive way the way that makes you happy satisfied and in that context when someone asks hoy why do you get up early in the morning what do you think like this 
Why do you go for such a strict adhering of time? Why don't you come with us? We are going somewhere else. And I say no, because this time is for something else. No, I am not going to go, this. I don't want to go that way. Probably that's, the, not, that's not the good way. Because I have practiced, I have put myself to think about myself in a specific way. So control and alignment of man, buddhi, ahankar and chitta in one direction. Then only I get an intuitive pleasure of getting disciplined. Or otherwise it becomes like something thrashed on me. Mana says, go for it. Buddhi says, maybe may not be. Why should I be putting myself into such troubles? Chiti is not controlled with good sansakara. And ahankar, that is me, is again confused. So if it is not aligned one way, then probably it will not give the positive reasons. Getting discipline from within, sustaining your sensory organs, putting yourself into positive directions, prior to it, filling yourself with positive thoughts, being with positive people, with good literatures, having this power of decision, taking decision in right way, and then practicing it because thought doesn't make much sense unless until it is practiced, put into action. The one essence is don't think much, put yourself into good things. Don't think much, put yourself into selfless service. Put yourself into, envi into environmental protection. Put yourself into anything that helps society, nation, humanity. Do something. Don't keep thinking. Don't keep thinking of big things. Ah, dreaming big, good word, no doubt. But dreaming big, big can't make any change unless until you put it into action. Action is needed. This is what Swami Vivekananda says, enough of thinking has been done. Stop thinking now. Do it. Come for doing something positive. Don't leave yourself like anything. Fill your mind with positive thoughts because mind keeps hungry. If you will not fill your mind with positive thoughts, it will start eating anything. Garbage. So that moment, you will become uncontrolled. Mind it. Just fill yourself with positive thoughts and put yourself into action and don't keep yourself free. Don't keep yourself free like anything. This is what is needed. So friends, I come up with ultimate words. I say, thinking of Swami Vivekananda, the person who came up with this self-induced discipline to become the excellent performer. What I say, I say is Shiva Bhutva, Shiva Myajit. Be Shiva to worship Shiva. Unless until you inculcate the values and the qualities of Shiva inside you, it's worthless to worship Shiva. It's worthless to talk about Swami Vivekananda unless until you inculcate the values that, incul that was inculcated by Swamiji. And then you will come up to understand that he was the person who controlled and managed those messages which we receive from around, cooked those messages to become positive. And that's why out of all struggles that he did in his life, he was never negative. He was strongly positive about the country, the nation, the youth, the humanity. He always had immense trust over humanitarian values. And he said, yeah, those who have come up on this earth, they can't never be son of sins. They are son of divine forces. They are full of divinity. We all are full of divinity. And he challenged people that you can never realize the immenseness that you have in your whole lot existence as the banyan tree cannot realize that that big banyan tree came from a very small seed. The seed at initial stages can't think of that it sustains such a big banyan tree. You also may not think of the immenseness that you possess. This is what Vivekananda says. And he tries to bring people towards, yes, you are the master of yourself. Have mastery. Learn to fill yourself with positivity. Have the decision, right decisions in your, in your life. And know there is no alternative of discipline. 
If you really want to sustain, you have to be disciplined. You have to manage yourself. Because without managing yourself or without managing themselves, anything could not sustain. This soil, this land, this water, this air, this earth, nothing could sustain. So friend, from today and from this moment, let's come up. Let's try to think that if we really want to do something worthwhile in our lives, we have to control our mind. Because this control of mind and control of our buddhi and having right decisions, this will only lead ourselves to something positive. Thank you.